Comparison has ruined my life. Comparison made me feel worthless and it has also taken a toll on my mental health. All these because of one simple thing, comparison. It's easy nowadays to compare our lives to others because we have all the modes of comparison very much accessible to us like the mobiles, the social media, which is all constantly reminding us of the perfect lives and perfect bodies of others and putting us in a constant state of comparison every minute, every second and every moment of the day reminding you how worthless you are. No one is immune to this. If you're a normal human being, you must have already fallen into this trap of comparison, which is not only very uh, attractive, but it's also emotionally destructive at the same time. In this video, I'm going to tell you how comparison has destroyed me and how I got the sense of who I am and how I coped out of the disastrous effects of comparison. I always looked at other people's life and other people's bodies and I compared myself to them and thought maybe I don't have it in me to achieve something or maybe I'm worthless or everybody has successful lives. Why don't I have one? And this has put me in a constant mode of self-doubt and worthlessness made me think that I don't have anything worth in me. But that's not true at all. I have my own abilities and I have my own skills, which I was ignoring because I was very busy looking at what others have, looking at others' abilities and looking at skills other people have. And in this process, I lost track of who I was, what my abilities were and what my skills were and what I am worth of. So I think it's the right time for us to look at the downsides of comparison and how it's destructing us and our lives. And is it really necessary to set a benchmark um, of looking at others to evaluate your own worth? Well, the answer is a big no, but that is what we are all doing nowadays. When I was comparing my life to others, I had this constant feeling of being unhappy, sad, depressed and feeling unworthy all the time. That's because I was concentrating more on other people's lives and not on mine. And when I started ignoring all the outer clutter and I started looking within and looking at my own life, my abilities and my skills, that's when things changed for me. And I'm not saying stopping comparison is easy because that's what we've been taught all our life. From childhood, we are taught to compare our grades, our beauty, our abilities, our sports abilities, music abilities, and so on and so forth, and anything at all possible. Our basic foundations of success were on comparison, were laid on comparison. So that's why it's natural for us to compare our lives to others. But what are we getting out of this? Absolutely nothing. It's just causing us self-destruction and unhappiness. That's all it is narrowing down to. But there came a point in my life when I had to realize that only my abilities or my skills or only I can put myself forward and only I can take my life forward and not other people around me. That is when it became easier for me to stop comparing myself to others. Because their journeys are different, their paths are different, so will be the destinations. When I realized this, it became easier for me to stop comparing my life to others. And when you do your best work and you realize your potential, you obviously don't have time to compare your life with others because you're busy looking at your own life and your own abilities. 
And when I compared myself to others, I also had this constant urge to be them and not me. I felt like my behavior was completely being controlled by others and not me. And it was, I felt like it was, I was trying to play an instrument using my left hand, even though I'm right handed. And I know I cannot be very good at it, even if I try hard and hard. And it will only make me realize that I'm not worth it in the end. And this itself is self-destructive to me and my mental health. So when I realized this, I quickly stopped comparing myself to others. My behavior also changed when I was comparing myself to others. I had a lot of negativity. I looked at people as something different than what they actually are. And I was filled with thoughts of negativity, jealousy and unhappiness. And while comparison is can be a good motivator, there is a very fine line between motivation and jealousy. So when we are in the process, we lose track of when the fine line has been erased and we fall into the ditch of negativity and jealousy and unhappiness. This was me when I was comparing to others and that was not my actual nature. When I thought myself, when I realized my behavior changing, uh, me feeling jealous about somebody or me feeling negative about everything around me. I stopped looking at other people's life. I did this first by retracting from a lot of social media accounts, which are a constant reminder of other people's life. And I didn't want to be a part of that anymore. And that is how I, I um, cut off from comparison up to an 80 percent and finally i realized that looking towards me my abilities and how i can find ways to be happy or how i can find ways to improve myself and focus more on myself gave me a lot of uh, a sense of fulfillment and happiness in my life i stopped focusing on other people's life and started focusing on myself, my abilities, my skills and that is what made me happier and fulfilled in life. And when you uh, start working hard towards your goals and when you start working hard on improving yourself, you don't even have time to think about other people or other people's lives. And all these uh, negative feelings, the jealousy and unhappiness went away on their own. And when you start thinking like this again, when you start focusing on yourself again, that is when things will look better and take a happy turn in your life. And now you can focus a lot on improving yourself and being a better version of yourself rather than being a version of somebody else. And, and that is when you will be happy and successful and fulfilled in life too. And always remember the most important things in life are measured internally. Happiness, satisfaction, success, everything is in here and not in the outside world. Playing to someone else's scoreboard is easy and putting someone as a benchmark for your success is easy. But when you play your own game and when you set your own benchmarks, that is when life becomes even more interesting and worth living. So let me know in the comments below if you did this and how you came out of comparison. And also I'll see you in my next video here. Thank you so much for watching.